Right, finally, this is the new project. We haven't done one for a little while. Um, what with everything I've had going on and work changing and stuff like that. So here we go, we've got the Junker 88. Nice plane, uh, this is by ICM, it's 148 scale as you can see. I haven't done many by ICM, so I don't even think I've done one, I might have done. I can't remember, I'll have to have a look at my videos to see what, what I've done. Um, not much on the box, just that really and a couple of bits on the side, nothing on the back. So yeah, we'll open it up. I just picked up the paint pot and got paint on me immediately, so that's a good start. And we've got another box. Here we go, this is what we get. The old instructions. Gives you a bit of detail about the plane. Max speed, 475 kilometers an hour. Don't know what that is in miles per hour. I'm from the UK, so. That's what we use. Don't look like too many parts. So. The plastic looks like the stuff that um, Gaines Workshop uses. 148 scale this time, as I already said, so a bit better than that uh, Lancaster, which is too small. I've got a Memphis Bell to build as well, which is 172. Um, and I'm looking forward to it, and I ain't, but there we go. Oh, I've got black paint everywhere, that ridiculous. And there's your glass pieces. I know the front nose of this thing is full of glass, so there's going to be that all over the place. Some nice detail, actually. It's quite nice. The plastic looks nice. Like I say, it looks like that Games Workshop. It's a bit flimsy. I don't know if that bit's supposed to be like that. Well, they both are, so that's not joined there. That's what I'm looking at. Plastic wheels again, so not rubber, which is fine. All the little bits. For the gears and the flaps and stuff like that. But yeah, it's nice. Nice detail. I don't see many, like... You know, the sprue where it spreads out and stuff like that. So nicely moulded. Some bombs, if you want the bomb doors open, maybe. There. Nice looking engines, which you probably won't see once you put them in. But I will paint these ones up. Because uh, they look quite nice. Looks like a V12 or something. Did it say what engine it had? Two times Jumo 211G1 or H1 1200HP. Anyone knows what that means? Let me know because I don't know. And that's the same spur as that one. It's just the other wing, I suppose, the other side. And here's the wings. I mean, the uh, panel lines on this bit are indented, but not much. Maybe we'll have to go over it just to make it indented a bit more. But yeah, not too bad. Looks quite nice. So I'll start on with this. Um, let's have a look at the instructions actually first. We've got loads of decals. A very blue paper. Not too many, which is nice. Because they get on my nerves doing too many decals. bit hard to see, I hope the rest of the instructions ain't like that. No, they're not too bad. So your basic instruction, not in colour. Um, that's not too bad though, that's alright. Tells you the colours obviously, which are on the front here. Quite a few, well, not many parts. There's over a hundred.
steps. So I couldn't think what the word was in. So the paint scheme was in colour, these are all your transfers, where they all go and stuff like that. There's the paint scheme. There's two different paint schemes, or white. In fact there's four maybe? Yeah, there's four different paint schemes. I don't know what one I'm going to go for first, or, or what one I'm going to go for. I like the look at the white one actually. But then that's not the traditional, so we'll do this top one. Yeah, we'll do this one. So yeah, if you want to have a read of that, that's what it says. Pause that and have a look. So we shall get on with this. Starting on the body of the plane. So we'll get it all painted up. We'll make it look nice. And yeah, we'll get on with that.
go on very well. They don't really clip on or anything. They just kind of sit there and you have to glue them on. So they're nicely taped up. The back ones went on all right and the flaps move. They just slotted in pretty nicely. Cockpit was a bit hard to put in, but it, it went in in the end. Not too bad so far, a bit fiddly with all the little chairs and stuff like that. I tried to paint the inside of the cockpit and that to what it should look like, kind of. It's not great, but again, you probably won't see it once the old and glass and everything's on. It's taken me a bit longer this one because I actually went away for a week, so I'm doing this a week later. Um, hence why I've not had a video out for a few weeks, but we'll get this one out as soon as possible. Um, and yeah, get back into this model making. So yeah, um, I'm going to let this dry overnight because these wings are very delicate and I don't want to knock them off. So I will let that dry and then the next part we will be on to is putting the flaps and the wheels on. I'll have the wheels down on this one and then we're into all the engine and that. So, yeah, I'll let it dry overnight and then I shall be back. But for you, it will be pretty much instant. But, yeah, that's what I'll get on with next.
seeing like the Battle of Britain film and all that kind of thing, but I might be wrong, but this is the one I'm going for anyway. It's got the gun at the front, um, guns on the back, got a bit of glue on there, but oh well, it is what it is. Makes it look a bit misty here, so I didn't put this panel in for some reason, so I've had to put that in last, but I see it's gone together quite nicely, to be honest with you. <coughs> the only bits I had slight trouble with were the ammo crates and that for the guns, um, the wheels and the engines to put on over the wheels were a bit of a nightmare. As you can see, you can see the lines quite a lot here, so should do a bit of sanding and filling and re-panel lining. Um, and the engine is quite hard to put in, but they always are in these type of planes. So again, it is what it is, but it's gone together quite nice. The gun at the bottom here. Um, like I said, the gun at the front. So next part is to spray it all up. I had this green left over from, I can't remember, older propellers, and it's the same colour as what's on the actual plane. But, but I think it's got to be a bit darker, so I haven't got that exact colour, but I'm sure I can make something up. I think it's got to be slightly darker. As you can see from that green there, it is a lot darker. But when you look it up online, it isn't. Sorry, I've got my fan on as well. It's uh, hard to hear me, but it's very hot. So yeah, the next part now is to paint it up. Um, I'll paint it up and then we'll put the transfers on and I've got to do the bombs as well but I always leave them till last because they're normally completely different colour to the actual plain fuselage so, so uh, yeah we'll get on with this me Okay, so after a long, long time, this Junker is finally built. Um, would I recommend this one? Probably not. It went together pretty well at the beginning. Um, the wings didn't want to go on. The guns are so fragile, they just snap. Like, you breathe on them, they will snap. I've done it a bit of... Uh, I've given it a bit of weathering. 
as you can see, because I wanted it to make it look like it's been used, obviously. I was going to go for the version 3, but then realised I don't really have much of the colours, so I decided to go for version 1. But version 1, I know there's a few things on this that it doesn't have, i.e. the gum. That snapped there, so trying to get that back together was an absolute nightmare. Um, the worst, worst part of this plane was the decals. They were so bad, they were like extremely thin cling film or wrap, whatever you want to call it, plastic wrap, whatever, I don't know, it's cling film, what I know of, but they were so bad, um, they snapped, you couldn't get them to go where you wanted, some of them were, like I used warm water and left them to soak for ages and they snapped in half as soon as you took them off of the paper because they were stuck so bad it, they were just terrible so I got on what I could get on um, so I, you know this is the ICM version of this plane I just wouldn't recommend it it's just not great it's a basic plane and it took me the longest to build but there we go so that's my little review of this plane but all in all, I hope it came out right. I hope you guys like it. Um, yeah. So that is the Junker 88. I'm sorry it's taken so long to get um, a normal video out. I did put some shorts out because I took a trip to Shuttleworth. Uh, I might add a little bit more content like that. Not just models, you know, some actual planes and military World War II stuff or anything really. Because I enjoy it all. So. And also check out my friend's channel who he goes to a lot of air shows and puts a lot of videos up of the air shows so if you like planes or you are into military stuff check it out it's um air shows by john o. i'll leave a link in the description he's only just started so go over there and uh see what you think of that and yeah so this is the junker 88 again sorry it took so long to come out the next one, I'm either going to do an F1 car or I'm going to do the Memphis Bell. I'm leaning more towards the Memphis Bell at the moment. Hopefully, it'll come out slightly quicker. So, thanks for all the new subscribers and welcome, guys. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It's, it means a lot. And give it a like. It means a lot. And comment and all that usual stuff, you know. But, um, yeah. So, thanks, everyone. And I shall see you guys on the next video. Cheers everyone, bye bye.